Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats finally working with the president on, on infrastructure. But don't let that rosy bipartisan look fool you. The Democrats still going after Trump for obstructing justice. Nancy says he does it on a daily basis. Joining me now is California Republican Congressman Tom McClintock. Great to see you, sir. Good to be back. Thanks what, for having me. What's your take on this fight? Well, I, th I think that the real obstructionist is Nancy Pelosi. This is the resist movement uh, coming to the House of Representatives. They're doing everything they can to obstruct the president in his uh, uh, discharge of his lawful duties as president. And they're doing it by misusing the subpoena and a number of other devices uh, to, to try to disrupt this, uh, this administration. Their motto has always been resistance by any means necessary, and that's what they're doing. What's your take on the President Trump and his team suing Deutsche Bank and Capital One to block the release of the, his financial records under Democrat subpoena. What, what are your thoughts there? Congress has has legitimate oversight responsibilities involving the conduct of the current government. This has nothing to do with this. This is rummaging through years and years of President Trump's uh, financial uh, uh, deals uh, when he was a businessman. And that has nothing to do with running the government. It is strictly harassment, and again, it's designed to disrupt his uh, ability to discharge his responsibilities as president. Congressman, what's your take on critics saying it's the Dems obstructing congressional business by focusing so much focusing so much on probes and doing so little on legislation i think there's 16 laws that have been enacted this so far of the year to date that's half the rate of the last congress well, don't forget, they're talking about the Green New Deal that would uh, cost upwards of $90 trillion over the next 10 years, uh, uh, banning everything from uh, airplanes to uh, uh, cow flatulence. Uh, they're talking about uh, Medicare for All, which would uh, uh, forbid uh, private insurance. If you like your health care plan, you lose your health care plan and uh, have it run by the same jolly people who run the IRS and the other federal bureaucracies. Uh, so uh, I'd rather not have them legislating right now. I hear but you. I think the American people elected this Congress to actually tackle the tough problems, immigration, of uh, our budget problems, of uh, to keep the economy going. Uh, and the Democrats uh, are, are, of course, uh, uh, totally fixated on Trump derangement syndrome. Well, we've got July. This July could be the longest expansion in U.S. history. That's a monster Trump economy that the Democrats are up against, sir. Uh, uh, that it is, and uh, you would think that they would be learning from that and saying, "Okay, we want to, we want a strong economy too. We'll continue these policies." Instead, they're advocating uh, higher taxes, basically going back to the same uh, policies that cost our nation a full decade of economic growth. Great to see you, Congressman. Come back soon.